पी एच ग्लास में ब्रेन इलेक्ट्रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ पी एच ग्लास में ब्रेन इलेक्ट्रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ग्लास में ब्रेन पी एच इलेक्ट्रोड द ग्लास में ब्रेन इलेक्ट्रोड यूज टू मेजर द पी एच इज द मोस्ट कॉमन आइन सेलेक्टिव इलेक्ट्रोड सो द पी एच इलेक्ट्रोड दैट इज सेलेक्टिव फॉर हाइड्रोजन आइन सो इट इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ आइन सेलेक्टिव इलेक्ट्रोड The glass pH electrode is used in combination with reference electrode. So here the glass pH electrode, and here it is the reference electrode. The reference electrode may be silver silver chloride electrode or saturated calomel electrode. A typical key pH combination electrode incorporating both the glass membrane electrode and the reference electrode in the same assembly. so we can say the modern glass combination electrode is an example of tube inside a tube so we will study a different part the most important part in the glass membrane electrode is the bulb that is sensitive for the specific ions so it is composed of coring 015 glass that is for ph measurement and its composition is 972% silica 22% sodium oxide and 6% calcium oxide second part is internal electrode that is silver silver chloride electrode or saturated calomel electrode that is inside the glass electrode third part is internal solution that is either a buffer of ph 7 or it is solution of 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid that is filled in this bulb now comes toward the reference electrode it is either silver silver chloride electrode or calomel electrode reference internal solution it is 0.1 mole per liter potassium chloride and the body of the electrode is made from the non conductive glass or plastics working of ph glass membrane electrode The pH value of the solution is related to hydrogen ion ratio inside the probe and the solution being tested that is present as external solution. Internal solution has fixed hydrogen ion while external solution has variable hydrogen ion. The sensitive area of the pH probe has three regions. One is known as dry glass layer that has thickness 0.1 mm or 10 is to power 5 nanometer it has no exchangeable sites available for sodium ion or hydrogen ion it has fixed sodium ions second part is hydrated gel has thickness 10 nanometer this part is in direct contact with internal solution which mean that it is located at this point third part is hydrated gel has thickness 10 nanometer and this part is in direct contact with external solution which mean that it is located at this point hydrated gel has exchangeable sites available for sodium ion or hydrogen ion while dry glass layer has fixed sodium ion this is the cross sectional area of glass membrane the dry glass layer is this area which has fixed sodium ions while the negative charge oxygen atom can bind the cations of suitable size when ph probe is dip in a solution a number of hydrogen ion will move towards the electrode replacing some metal ions this ion swapping is known as ion exchange and this is the basic principle of how the ph electrode work the ion exchange occur inside the probe also outside the probe because the hydrogen ion inside the probe has fixed value while the hydrogen ion present outside the probe has variable value there is some difference of acidity outside and inside the probe and this difference of acidity is due to the hydrogen ion activity that resulting in the charge difference that charge difference will produce an potential difference across the glass membrane that is 
inside and outside and that will be represented as ph how a ph electrode record a solution ph as acidic basic or neutral we know that the hydrogen ion inside the probe has fixed value while the hydrogen ion outside the probe or external solution has variable hydrogen ions if the number of hydrogen ion inside the probe is equal to the number of hydrogen ion outside the probe then the solution will be recorded as neutral solution and its ph will be 7 if the number of hydrogen ion inside the probe is greater than the number of hydrogen ion outside the probe the solution will be recorded as basic and the ph will be greater than 7 if the number of hydrogen ion inside the probe and the number of hydrogen ion outside the probe is different in a sense that the number of hydrogen ion inside the probe is less than the number of hydrogen ion outside the probe then there is a difference and that difference will be recorded as acidic solution has ph less than 7